The Messiah doesn't have a kingdom, then I don't know what we need to talk about. Does he have a kingdom? Yes. Is it of this world? It is. He said, the kingdom of God is among you. Okay. Is his kingdom of are this we, world? Are we on this world? Is his kingdom of this world? No, it is not from this There you world. go. So by Jesus' own kingdom? statement, you are wrong. No, that no, no. You said the government, according to the prophecy, the government will be upon his shoulder. And I kept asking you, which government was upon his shoulder? The answer, wait. If you were a sincere person, you would say none. None of the governments was upon his shoulder. The next, the next. This is like, I'm lying. You are lying. So you are lying because you you keep so saying. I'm asking you for the source of your information. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Let's see if you're lying or not. Because Which government was upon his shoulder? So the source of the kingdom of God is it from this earth or is it from the from God? Is it from heaven? Yeah, I will answer after you where, answer my question. Which story? government was upon his shoulder? The kingdom of God. Is the kingdom of God of the Father or of the Son on this earth? That's the source of this kingdom. It's from no, no. heaven. Is the kingdom of God? So you're asking silly questions. No, it's not a silly question. And then I can't Is the kingdom of God? You okay. You. So you're saying, you know, when Jesus said, "Do you believe?" Let me let me tell you. When Jesus said, "The kingdom is not my kingdom is not of this world," what do you understand by that? that my kingdom world. is not of this world. Yes, of. It's about where does it come from? No, no, Jesus no, said no, no, my no, no. Is not of no. This I didn't world. ask you where it came from. It is for. I asked you. What do you understand by the statement of Jesus, my kingdom is not of this world? No, it is, is it of this world or in the hereafter? It is of heaven. But okay, he so brought, not this world. He so in the hereafter, it, heaven. He brought it yeah. to earth. That's what Who he brought it to earth? Jesus. Where did he say in the Bible he brought it to earth? So are you telling me Jesus lied when he said my kingdom is not of this world? The, the source was not of this world. He never said the source. No, he said my kingdom is not of this world. I'm explaining to you, but if you don't like my explanation, Actually, your explanation goes against Jesus' teaching. Yes. Should I believe you or Jesus? Okay, there's two options. One option is the kingdom of Jesus. Listen, listen. What source of information do you have about Jesus? Well, I'm quoting the Bible. <laughs> yeah, but you don't trust the Bible. Why do you but you do. Yeah, but why do you But you do trust the Bible, right? Yeah. So should, I, should you not believe the Bible? Yeah, but you should as well. No, I shouldn't. I can read sense. it, but I shouldn't believe it. It doesn't make sense. Then. No, I don't think so. It makes sense. To me... If anyone kills God by his, by, uh, if God dies by his own creation, that is a nonsensical understanding of an almighty God. Did God die? According to you, he did. Really? So who died on the cross? Jesus. Was Jesus fully God? Yeah, but did God die? Was Jesus fully God? Uh, so we talk about the Trinity rather than about the Bible. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't, are you as a Christian, can you say that, can you be a Christian without understanding the Trinity? Or without believing in the Trinity? Yeah, I'm sure you can. So someone, because so someone who believes in Jesus let Christ me, let me explain. and not the Trinity, he, he's a Christian. The word Christian means comes from Christos. Cus, comes from? Christos. No, it comes from Christ. Yeah, Christ. Not Christians. The, Christ. the word Christian comes from Christ, which is Greek did, for did, did Jesus believe, which is Greek for Messiah. Yeah. By the way, Jesus believed in a, uh, believed so the, in a God, right? So that you believe in the Messiah is necessary. Messiah is not to be worshipped. Even the Jews will agree with that. Even the Muslims will agree with that. A Messiah was never ever to be worshipped. Okay? So now let's get back to the point. We know we know Jesus did not have any government upon his shoulder. We also know it's getting a bit long. No, no, no. no I think I think the re you know where it went off track? When you started bringing in the um, the teachings of Jesus, when I told you to verify to me before you bring in the teachings of Jesus, verify that these gospels are actually the the accurate do you, do you representation the of Jesus. Do I follow the teachings of Jesus? I don't follow the teachings of Jesus unless it agrees with the Quran and the Sharia. So your point of reference is really the Quran. Yes, it is. And the Sharia. Yes, reference. of course it is. It is, of course. Yeah, okay. But why do you believe that is more accurate than the Bible? Because we don't know who wrote. You know why? Because, um, let me explain my question. Yeah. Because we don't know who wrote the Quran. How do you know? I know. Who did I know the scribes of Prophet Muhammad wrote the Quran. The scribes. Yes, his name was Zaid bin Thabit, and there were other scribes with him. We at least know the name of the people who wrote it. Do you know any person who wrote the manuscripts? The gospels. Do you know any? Yes. Yeah. Anyone? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yes, and your uh, your scholars say none of them 
in whose name these gospels are written were the actual authors of this book. Because these were these were written No, these these extant manuscripts were written like in the fourth century. The early disciples, unless they live for four hundred years, then you have a very illogical, think, inconsistent point. I think you need to find a few more reliable scholars than that. Okay, who is a reliable scholar according to you? Give me a name. J. Smith? <laughs> No, seriously, he's, Jesmit? Uh, he's probably a scholar on Islam. I haven't followed him. That okay, much. so give me a scholar of uh, Christianity. Uh, Tom Wright. Tom go, go by Tom Wright. He's a good scholar and he knows how to explain what, what are his credentials? Huh? What are his credentials? He's a, he, he used to be a bishop or archbishop in the Church of England. No, no, his credentials in the New Testament uh, yeah, he's a New research. Testament, he's a New Testament scholar. Okay, so, so what does he, he say? Does he say Mark, Matthew, Luke and John? actually so wrote these so gospels if you look for reliable scholars on the new testament what did he say the name was again uh, tom wright tom wright tom did he actually say He's that mark wrong. matthew luke and john wrote the gospels themselves or were they written in, in their names i would think he says that they wrote no no don't tell me what do you think if you know for if you know for certain then say otherwise say i don't know no but you quoted the scholar no you're the one who brought up the scholar i did no, you, you brought up no, I said the Christian scholars, honest, majority of them, yeah, I brought up a generic scholarly uh, agreement and consensus that none of these people, Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, okay, were, were the ones who were the authors in which the Gospels That's were written. Uh, the Gospels but were just written in the names. Do a little bit more research and find some... some I think you're the one who should do the research. It's your religion. I'm all the time doing research. I hope so. So you brought in one scholar, but you don't even know what he said about the Gospels. Is that right? So go home and do your research. What he says. What, does he say Mark, Matthew, and Luke, and John wrote the Gospels? He, he does say that the New Testament is a reliable That wasn't my question. Does he say, does he say these were the individuals who wrote the Gospels? If you don't know, you're more than welcome to say, I don't know. No, no. I would think so, yes. No, don't say I would think so, which means you're not sure. No, I'm, I'm sure, but I'm not a scholar. But I will Wait, you're sure what? That they wrote, yes, that, that this guy, that this scholar which you quoted, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the authors of those four gospels. Yes, but this and does the scholar say this? Why, why do does the scholar say this? Which you see how you're trying to dupe the people? Which but we can see right through it. Duping the people. Yes, you are. Because you're saying, look, you're saying that they, these are reliable. So don't, the question is very you simple. You keep these things like I'm lying, I'm duping. You are. People, you are. And this and that. When you say, actually, when you say you are certain, actually, when you look, look, when you say you bring a first, you bring in a scholar. Then you're not sure whether he actually said I, what I, I, I what you're claiming I gave he said. You the name of the scholar. But did he say what I asked you? And if you want a reliable scholar yeah. of the New Testament, I think Tom Wright is a reliable. One. Did he say Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John wrote the Gospels? This is like the fourth time I'm asking yeah, yeah. you. Okay. Is that a yes or a no? As far as I know, he does agree with that. As far as you know. Yes. So you haven't. And you don't know if he said it. I agree with that as well. So you are not sure that he said it. No. no. I'm certain that Mark Okay, I'll tell you what, next time Matthew you bring the evidence from this guy where he actually no, says very clearly, to, without ambiguity, that, that Mark, Matthew, to, Luke and John actually... I, I don't, I'm not going to bring evidence because... No, they, because you to, don't have evidence, no, that's why. To, no. Not the onus is on you because you're the one you, making the claim. No, no. To you personally, yeah. you don't want evidence. Why? Because you don't want to believe the Gospels. It's not that doesn't even evidence. make sense. No, it's not about evidence. It doesn't make sense to me. So you're saying I should first believe in the in the Gospels and then go look for evidence? No, no. no. And what are you saying? No, no. I'm saying you don't want to believe in the Gospels. Why would I don't want to believe in the Gospel? Because Have you we, asked me? Yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'll tell I you why. Like next to, time, I would like to next time before you make a claim, I would, ask me. I would like to the reason one. I don't believe in the Gospel is because I use a principle from the Quran. Yeah. In the Quran, Allah says, if so, this book, listen, listen, wait. Yeah. Allah says, if this book is from anyone other than Allah, surely you will find contradictions and discrepancies in it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Are there contradictions in the Bible? Okay, so why? But, but, I'm telling you the answer why? now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And I accept your answer. Okay, so because, do you believe there are contradictions in the Bible? No, because what you... Because if, there, if God doesn't make mistakes, God doesn't have contradictions no, no. in his work. If there was contradictions, then surely this cannot be from why did you make the choice God you Almighty. Why did you make the choice you made? Why do you believe the Quran? You're changing the topic again. No, no. Because you said I don't believe the topic the Bible, is about the credibility of the Gospels. Because your if you want to discuss the Quran, we can discuss that as the next topic. Right now, can but, we stick to one topic, please? But, yeah, but you don't want to believe the Bible or the Gospel because it contradicts the Quran. Is that right? You didn't hear my answer, did you? But did you hear my answer? 
That's what you just Did you hear me. my answer? That's what you just told no. me. No. See, that's a problem. You were thinking of the next question me instead me of again. listening to me. Tell me again. One of the principles of the Quran is that if, if the book, i.e. the Quran is from anyone other than Allah, surely you will find contradictions in it. So if the book contains contradictions, it cannot be from God. I apply the same principle to the other scriptures. Does the Bible contain contradictions? Yes, it does. Because the Bible I think, has many contradictions. I think there's lots of things you don't understand about the Bible. But it's there might good. be, but the point is, but do you agree there are contradictions in the Bible? No, there, no? Are things, there are things that you don't understand in the Bible. So you're saying there, there are no contradictions at all? I need to research that. I don't understand. I need to research that. So if you say this or that doesn't add up, I'll have to take time to work out how does it add up or what does it mean. But to just say, oh, I don't get it, it's nonsense. That's a weird kind of research. No, I didn't say it was nonsense. No. I gave you a criteria on which I base but, that your Bible is not reliable, not accurate, but, and not from God because it contains have, contradictions. But the main issue you have with the Bible is that it doesn't agree with the Quran. And you have decided to believe the Quran. You know, what's this guy's problem, honestly? I gave him the reason why I don't agree that the Bible is from the Word of God. Yet he tells me something completely different. Yeah, but that's what you why don't decided. You, why don't you listen to but my answer? You have decided that based on your understanding of the Quran. No, based on my research. Based on my research, okay. that if I believe any book is from God, the first thing is it should not have contradictions. Okay, Do you agree we with that principle, with we that criteria? about the Word of God. No, we were talking about the, word the reliability of, the word of what you claim to be the Word of God. Yeah. Okay. So, does the Bible have contradictions? I think there are things that seem contradictory, but if you wish to understand them, you can. Okay, let me ask you this. It's not too difficult. Does God repent? Does God repent? That means, does He acknowledge that He has made a mistake and He's sorrowful about it? Yeah, explain the word repent. Like, you I just, made a mistake. I just told you. No, yeah. it's not a, just a mistake. When you make a mistake, yes, you regret it. Yeah. And that is what you actually repent. Well, you can for. regret good things you've done as well. Really? Give me an example. Give me yeah. an example for a good thing that you have repented. So, for example, if I give you a hundred pounds, yeah. and then the next day I think I could do with hundred pounds, I could regret I've given it to you. But it was a good thing to do. So first, why did you give me the hundred so pounds? It doesn't have to be about a mistake. No, regretting, no, but, but regretting can also be about something good you did. No, but God tells you why you regret it. Huh? God tells you why you regret it for creating human beings. Okay. In in Genesis chapter yeah. six, verse six. You want to open and read it, so you don't say I took it out of context. No, no, no. So God said first in Genesis 3 that he was glad that he created humans. He, no, no, he was glad with his creation. And then and then by Genesis 6, 6, he's saying he regretted. I think this is already another subject because we talked about the gospel first to narrow his life. Now we broaden it out to include Genesis. But the point is still that you... No, no, I, you asked me, you, you told me that there are certain things I, I conceive as a contradiction when really it is not a contradiction. No, so my question to you is, did God regret in Genesis I'm saying for, have, for creation of have, human beings? I say you have chosen for whatever reason to not trust the Bible, which is fine. That's your choice. Does the Bible have contradictions? Stop changing the topic. Does the Bible have contradictions? Personally, yes or no? Personally, yes or no? Personally, you have decided not to trust the Bible. It doesn't matter what we talk I gave you the reason, did I not? Yeah. What was my reason? Because you decide to trust the Quran. No, no. <laughs> no you, see, your you know, this is like the third time I'm telling this guy. Have you got a problem hearing or what? Or understanding? I, no, I have a very good. I understand. Okay, so what was the criteria I gave you for not trusting the Bible? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I say, is it? Because it only matters what you think, I think. No, you have decided. Seriously, man. You have decided to trust. Okay, what was the criteria I gave you? You have decided to trust. What was the criteria I gave you? So your criteria come from the Quran. What was the criteria? And yeah, I told you it comes but, from the Quran. But. But what? You're a person. You've decided this. Okay. You have have you decided? You have a okay. free will. Have you decided that the Bible has contradictions or not? I have decided that God does not have contradictions. Okay, so does God and repent? I have decided that does God repent for creating humans? I have found out that the Bible see, want to tells me a lot of very interesting information about God. Yeah, it's worth reading. And 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 very and and, and, and the other things which I it says. I also understand that God is bigger than me. His mind is bigger than me. So when I don't understand something, people or God or the Bible tells me about Him, 
I have to think about it. How does this add up? It's fine, but he doesn't make mistakes. God doesn't make mistakes. Does he, he doesn't. Are you saying God makes mistakes? No, but that's a theological argument. No, it's not. It's in the Bible. It's, it's, it's actually in the Bible. No, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Shall, shall we show him the verse? But still, I don't know where you come from. Huh? Where you I, don't, I know, I know. And, and, he, and he says why he regretted. Naham, the word. Oh, sorry, did I say repent? It was regret, actually. But he regretted. That yeah, he, why did he regret? What no, did he regret? Did he regret that he made a mistake? Does it say Yes, that? yes, it does. No, Bring up the Bible. It says he regretted something. No, you haven't read the Bible, that's why. Does it say he made a mistake? What does the word regret mean? Sure, sure, sure. Sure. Your meaning. What you you see, now he's playing semantics. He knows he's cornered. No, 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 now he's playing no, semantics. I'm not cornered. You are. You made a mistake. You don't even admit it. You, you, you misunderstand the word regret. Okay, what does regret mean? Let's see. That you think I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Shall we show you from the uh, so victory? I'm saying I could do something good and think I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, which means you you somehow understand that you made a mistake by giving no. me 100 pounds. No, no, Hence, no, you no. regret it. No, no, no. Whether it's a good thing or bad thing, it is your decision which you regret, actually. Yes. I.e. You made I a mistake. Have done it. I should have you made a mistake. Okay, so you didn't have the knowledge of the results. So, well, that is, that's is. another interpretation. But in this case, okay, I tell you what. You interpret this and you tell us whether there's a mistake God made or not. Okay, how about that? We are not going to put our, our, our own understanding into this particular verse. No, I'll let we, you because we trust the Bible. Don't we? I will let you, trust someone who trusts the Bible, to yeah. exegete it. Really? The Old Testament. Is okay, here he says here. Yeah. Do you want to read it? Verse 6. That, that's the Quran question, the Old Testament as well. Just read one, uh, verse 6. Do you want to read it? From verse 6 onwards? Um, that's a bit small. I'll, I'll make the uh, fonts bigger if you want. There you go. Are these big enough for you? or If you want, I can make it bigger. Read it aloud so we can all hear. Okay. Love. Okay, yes. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, etc. So the Lord regretted he had made them. What do you make of it? Why did he regret that? You tell me. He said it there. Because the because? wickedness of the human race. Did he know that already? That the humans were going to become wicked? He, God is all knowing, right? He's omniscient. He made them with the option to be wicked. No, no. Did he have the knowledge that humans will be wicked? That's a, a good question. Did he know that in yeah. advance? So use your own understanding and you tell me, if no. you knew something, no. would you make that mistake? No. For example, if in hindsight, you knew that you would be in need of the 100 pounds you gave me, would you have given it to me? Yeah, but you wouldn't, would you? You see, God, wait, wait, wait. God here in Genesis 3. Let's read what Genesis 3. If I give you freedom to do something, yeah, you can do with it what you want. Yes, I can. And when I give it to you, I can realize afterwards you can't handle that freedom. No, no, okay? no. You see why? You see why? You see why you made the mistake? When you have given me freedom, yeah. yes, and you know what I was going to use or misuse that freedom, yeah. yes, then why would you regret? Because you would already know yeah. okay. in so the future, I because mean, God knows the future, right? Human feeling, human yes. emotion, yeah. regret. So does God have emotions? According to here, he's jealous. To yes, yes, he does. He, he, he regrets, yeah. he's jealous, yeah. yes, he gets angry. These are emotions. You only mentioned the negative emotions. Any good emotions in Yeah, he, he's, he's loving. Yeah. Yes, oh. you, love, you love that, don't you? You love that. But anyway, why sidetrack? Yes. Why sidetrack? No, Did God make a mistake? That is the question. Did he make a mistake? He said he regretted. Okay, what does the word regret mean? So, Shall we use the dictionary? Because I'm assuming your first language is not English and neither is mine. So let's use the dictionary, okay? Is that okay with you? No, but obviously um, it's clear what it says. He regretted that he made humans because of the wickedness of God. So he made a mistake that he made humans? No. Regret is mistake, because you know that. A mistake is... That's the kind of you put a value on it, and I'm saying you can regret too. Okay, things here's too. here's the definition of regret: feel sad, repentant, or disappointed over something that one has done or failed to do. Yes. The noun is a feeling of sadness, repentance, or disappointment over an occurrence of something that one has done or failed to do. 
Okay, so God was disappointed or sad or repentant over creating human beings. But God already knew what the human beings were going to do. Does he know what you're going to do tonight? God? Does he know what you are going to do? Of course, God knows everything. So, if do you, you, wait, wait, do you not believe that? No, if, if you do something bad tomorrow, yeah, God knows that. He already knows. Yes. So, why would he judge you about what you do? No, no, God will judge me on the day of judgment, not tomorrow. No, but Unless tomorrow was the day of judgment. If it's, not, if it's your last day tomorrow, the, the next day will be judgment. But no, no, that's not how it works in so Islam. I'm sorry. So I'm saying... Anyway, why changing the topic? No, I'm not the question the is, topic. why did God regret? I'm why was he disappointed about something you already know? Why was he sad about something you already knew? Why did he... Talk, why did he think that was a failure? Because he says here, feel sad, repentant or disappointed over something that one has done or failed to do. I'm asking you to apply logic to your theological statement. And I'm asking you to apply logic. Can God regret? Yeah. Yes. If he knows everything? He says that he can regret. So okay. That's a very so, old... Sorry, that's a very... Listen, this is wrong. Do you understand? Do you see the contradiction here? I think he regrets talking to you. <laughs> I think so. If you, if you know the future... I think the other one is in I Genesis know, know 3. Car crash over there. I don't know exactly I where. Where well, he says he was glad to... If I go there... You know, the hundred pound example is good. If he knew he needed it, he wouldn't have given it to you. What's that? He had no man. And they were wicked. They were really wicked. But he? Yeah, okay. So, but he regretted that they had become so wicked. Right. But I think that it's a choice of people to make decisions. Yeah. To do good or to do yes. bad. Yeah. If you say, we don't have a choice at all, mm -hmm. then it doesn't make sense. But if we have a choice, yes, we do. it does make sense. Because if my kids become really nasty, yeah. I can regret having kids like that. I would have liked nice kids. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So but God, is, God is not a human. God is not limited. Yeah? No, but God knows we can only explain God in human terms because that's the things we see. We can't see God. So the way we talk about God is in human understandable language. So the emotions of God, we talk about regret as an emotion, but we use a human term that we understand to describe something that is actually it's, it's beyond us yeah? it's so beyond the only us. the only person who can explain god no 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 it's, it's this language the only person who can explain god is god himself i can't tell you i've never seen it but he can tell me what he's like so then you got to make do with it no 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 i as a human i have never seen god yet only god can tell me what he's like do you understand? Yeah. I can't say that God's like this. So, Only He can tell me He's yeah. like this, this, so this. The Word of God will tell you what He's like. Yeah. When God speaks, you understand something about Yeah. God. And God has said, I am all knowing. I know the future, I know the past, I know the present, I know everything. Did He tell you personally or did you read that somewhere? I, like I just said, only God can tell us what He's like and He, does, he chooses to do that through uh, divine scriptures. Yeah? So, which defines scripture? Did you read that? Uh, but it, no, no, what I'm saying is that's his way of... I, so I think he's, he's just trying to use semantic. You know you know very well, wait. God asking, knew God I'm knew the future. for the source of information. Where does he get his information from? Which information? You say God is all-knowing. He knows what's going to happen next so you, you, so, Okay, okay, that's it. That's it. So, so you don't, don't, you don't, you get okay, okay. From? So you don't think God did is all-knowing? Did God speak that to you? No, that's fine. No, 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 this is from? where we part. I you know, don't think God is all-knowing? I... I I know where I got the information from. Yeah, that's fine. What I'm saying I'm is we are different. I don't I don't but we are giving you from your own source where he says God repented. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. God repented creating human beings. You, you don't so creating, so, so creating you that's was a mistake according to God. Creating me was a mistake. You are a human, are you not? Are you, you're, you're are you not a human? Why are you picking on me? Are you not a human? I'm going, based, I'm going based on what you believe in, not what I believe in. Because I don't believe God repents or regrets does or does mistakes okay but in your bible he does make mistakes and he does repent and does regret yeah, in the Quran, yeah. in the bible the annoying thing about that is that god is very much or that we are very much like god no we are not maybe you are you you believe you are but you are a mortal you can die just by an accident on the road yes god forbid it doesn't happen to you okay. but what i'm saying is that you are a weak in comparison to god almighty and that's another reason we don't believe that Jesus is God, because he died by his own creation. If Jesus was God, he died by his own creation. What kind of a God dies by his own creation? Only a weak God. No, no, no. Do you believe Jesus is God? 
Okay. 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 No, you believe Jesus is God and Jesus was killed. You believe Jesus is God? The man. Yes. Jesus. Is God. Jesus. God doesn't die. Of course he does. So who so who died? So who sense. was crucified? Jesus died. How can, how can the creator become the creation? I don't understand. How does the word of God? Do you believe in creation? How did God create everything? How did God create? How because did he God said be it and it happened. By his will. He created by his will. God, God said be and there was. Okay. God said let there be light and there was light. Okay. Alright. The word of God created everything. Okay. So the word of God produces something. Right? If God speaks, something happens. Yeah. Right? So if God speaks into man, something happens. If okay. He speaks to you, something happens. Yeah. Okay. The question if he does or if he will or what happens, like, cool. The principle is the right. right. So I'm saying Jesus is the word of God. Because the word we can say, yeah, the word of God in, in a man. Almost, yeah. And that is again. But God never died. But God's word never died. Uh -huh. I just wanted to say Islam. I'm just asking you a lot. And, uh, yeah, just like, like you inspired me, man. Right? Yeah. Okay. Keep us in your doors, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's just a good thing to get a bit more knowledge so I get a bit more confidence. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I've been watching you. Yes. Allah reward you. Yeah.